On the Fav Creative 1.5 embroidery machine, you have the ability to size, move, rotate, and mirror an embroidery design. So we've come into our designs from our USB stick. I've got design number nine selected. And with that, let's go ahead. I've got the 240 by 150 hoop. So I just need to make sure that I've got, did you notice that the squares change over here? So it means you have a bigger playground because we do, we have more room to move the design around. So first one we talked about is sizing. So if we go into the button here with the ABC and the hoop with the butterfly, we have the option to make it bigger by about 20%. So we can go up 20%, on each direction. So if you just want it wider but not taller, you have control over each of those. If the number is highlighted, you've changed it. And if it's not highlighted, you're back to normal. Do keep in mind that if the design had, for example, 10,000 stitches and you made it bigger, you still have 10,000 stitches. So a little bit more spread out, that's why they kind of limit you. And vice versa, if you do have a reduction of size, then you have still 10,000 stitches and they start to get a little tight. So just kind of keep in mind, play, don't go too far. Uh, the machine should kind of keep you within a safe ballpark. Uh, for moving a design, you have the ability just to use the arrows to move a design to the left. Or like when I went ahead and stitched out here the, the FOF lettering, I just moved it all the way to the lowest part of the hoop until it didn't let me go any further. Remember, this is where you can go to the um, alt and actually check and see like which one, uh, use those top arrows to see which corners, how big that design's actually gonna stitch. And always do that before you stitch something out so you know its actual size. Now, I am gonna just move this into the top part of our, or back into the kind of the center of our area. And when we go into our A, and B with a hoop button here, we have the option to rotate. Now here's a little trick. Have you noticed this P that's hanging out here? That P is gonna remind you which way up is. So if the P is leaning to the side, then this over here is now the top of the design. So as you rotate it 90 degrees, 180, it's upside down, standing on its head, and then 270, and then all the way back to normal. Same thing when you mirror image something. So we can mirror image it and the P will flip flop. So now it looks like a Q. <laughs> or if you flip flop it the other way, now it looks like a B. So that's why those look a little different. By the way, you can put on both mirror images, but you can always tell which area, which direction your design is facing based on which way that P is turned. If you wanna do any other more detailed sizing or making it even bigger than 20%, remember use the embroidery software that came with the machine that you download free of charge from the FOF website.